The competition for global leadership between the United States and China has escalated. Marked by China's ambitious foray into building its first aircraft supercarrier, Historically, nations like the United Kingdom, Russia, Japan, India and France have invested significantly in extending their naval capabilities through aircraft carriers, a tradition dating back to the early 20th century. Despite their efforts, these nations were still trying to emerge as a genuine rival to the United States, which boasts a formidable fleet, particularly with its Nimitz and Ford-class carriers. The Ford class, renowned for its unparalleled military strength, stands out as the pinnacle of US aircraft carrier capabilities. However, China's ongoing development of the Type 004 aircraft carrier signals promising advancements in its naval sector, hinting at the potential emergence of a credible contender in this competitive arena. China has already built something called Type 003 which is not a significant rival to America's fleet of supercarriers. This 003 aircraft carrier has considerable drawbacks compared with America's aircraft carrier fleet. However, its successor, nuclear-powered Type 004 class, is expected to be strong enough to challenge the American supercarriers that dominated the world's oceans and seas over decades. So. We have brought you a detailed comparison between China's Type 004 aircraft carrier and the US Gerald's R Ford class aircraft carrier. But before diving deep into the video, stay tuned and don't go anywhere. One of the critical drawbacks that we saw in the Type 003 carrier was the introduction of it as a conventionally powered one, limiting its operational range. But Ford-class American carriers come as nuclear-powered vessels, offering them an infinite operational range. According to many sources, China expects to address this issue with its Type 004 carrier by launching it with a nuclear propulsion system. This will surely help the Chinese naval forces carry out diverse maritime operations, such as strike missions, air defense, surveillance and amphibious warfare on a global scale. Type 004 aircraft carriers will use the electromagnetic aircraft launch system, known by the acronym EMALS, for efficient aircraft launch operations, similar to the Type 003 CNS Fujian. Even though the launching system of the Gerald R. Ford class carriers is somewhat identical to the use of the same kind of EMALS technology, its launching and recovery system is expected to be more efficient and smoother with the employment of additional technologies like Advanced Arresting Gear AAG. On the other hand, the United States has more experience with the technology after using it for several years, with limited errors. However, China is a greenhorn regarding the emails technology, as it has been employed only once, and there may be considerable errors within the system. Currently, the US Navy employs battle-tested F-18s F and new F-35Cs on its Ford-class carriers. The F-35C stands out in the Chinese arsenal as a flying supercomputer with unmatched capabilities. Its stealth doesn't render it invisible, but significantly complicates acquiring a weapon's quality lock before it engages. This inherent advantage poses a formidable threat to Chinese air forces. With the recent upgrades, the F-35C has electronic warfare capabilities and improving its ability to escort itself through skies dense with enemy radar networks sets it apart. These aircraft have upgraded AIM-260 air-to-air missiles, neutralizing and surpassing China's current advantage. With an operation range of at least 120 miles, the US Navy gains an edge over China's PL-15 missile, which is estimated to have a range of about 100 miles. This extended range enhances the Navy's ability to engage adversaries from a safer distance. The American fighter jets also comprise the advanced anti-radiation guided missile extended range, designed to counter China's anti-access area denial defense systems. However, it is too early to give 100% accurate details on the aircraft and weapon combination of the Type 004 carriers but this variety is expected to carry a mix of Shenyang J-15 and Shenyang J-31, 
Shan KG-600 airborne, early warning and control aircraft, anti-submarine warfare planes from the People's Liberation Army Naval Air Force, and stealth attack drones, as per sources. Chinese aircraft have different problems compared to US aircraft. They were mainly developed as products of reverse engineering processes. The J-15, often nicknamed the Flying Shark or mockingly referred to as Flopping Fish in Chinese military circles, is a derivative of a Ukrainian Su-33 prototype. It is expected to be used in Type 004 aircraft carriers. One of the primary drawbacks is the J-15's reliance on WS-10 engines from Shenyang Liming Aircraft Engine Company, which are copies of the Russian Saturn AL-31 engines. Engine performance is complex, and China has struggled to match the performance standards. The Shenyang WS-10 engines significantly limit operational range and payload capacity, affecting China's fleets. Chinese engines have terrible reputation for their unreliability, with a shorter lifespan measured in hundreds of flight hours compared to the thousands of US engines. Another key drawback is its relatively higher weight, presenting a significant challenge for the J-15 in achieving competitive performance, especially compared to American fighters. Another primary weapon expected to be used in the Type 004 aircraft carrier is the Shenyang J-31 stealth fighter, considered China's indigenous stealth aircraft. While initially seen as a potential export candidate to compete with a Lockheed Martin F-35 in the limited market for fifth-generation fighters, the J-31 poses challenges. Even though this was developed as a direct copy of J-31, it still lacks the advanced technology suite that makes the F-35 uniquely lethal. There were earlier suggestions that the aircraft carrier might also accommodate J-20 aircraft. However, PLA Navy Rear Admiral Zhang Zhaozhong dismissed that possibility in a program on China Central Television. He explained that the J-20 is not structurally designed for carrier operations. It lacks folding wings for compact storage, and its stealth coating is prone to degradation at sea. In conclusion, while the China 004 aircraft carrier marks a significant stride in the country's modernization efforts, a thorough comparison with a US Gerald R. Ford-class aircraft carrier reveals a substantial gap for the Type 004 vessels to cover. However, within the next decade, China will develop significantly, harming the United States' contamination of the oceans.